so there's a story i don't know about four fours and that's why i'm going to make this up yeah so the four fours together and these four sides of a square all equal say 4 cm yeah 4 cm 4 cm 4 cm and uh, all the fours on the screen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 together make 32 that's 8 times 4 but uh, the 3 plus 2 makes 5 When I see three and two, I think the perfect fifth. I think that's what it's called, yeah. So from four fours, we had four more fours, and we came to the fifth. So the perfect fifth is uh, a ratio of frequencies. Say if this is six sixty, six sixty divided by x is equal to three by two. That's Two two zero four forty four forty hertz six sixty hertz and four forty hertz would be frequencies in the perfect fifth. A set of frequencies that uh, in music is significant, like an octave. Yeah, an octave is. Frequencies in the ratio two is to one, so you have like eight eighty hertz. This would be four forty hertz. Where uh, ratios two is to one is equal to eight eighty by four forty. In this case, eight eighty by four forty. Not necessarily eight eighty and four forty. Yeah, let's just say eighty uh, four. Let's say eighty four. Yeah. Eighty-four would make this forty-two. Yeah, there was a book I read years ago. Douglas Adams talked about how forty-two, not talked about in his jibber jabber, mentions forty-two as the answer to everything, uh, without knowing the question. Something like that. So the four plus two makes six. Eight plus four makes twelve. Six times two is twelve. Two twos. We have a four here. Let's keep it to four for now, yeah. And notice that there are three fours on the screen. No, actually, five fours on the screen. I like five, and I like the fours. So let's keep the fours and forget about everything else. Yeah. So with the five fours on the screen, let's think about uh, base. Let's say base four. Yeah. Let's say base four, and the knowledge that there are only. Four numbers, four numbers in the base four system, which is zero, one, two, and three. So the zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is the base ten system, where you have ten digits: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten digits. That's the base ten system. Now in a base four system, only four digits. So Think of it like this, yeah. The number eight zero one three does not exist in a base four system because eight does not exist in a base four system. So the number would be three zero one two, something like that. And this number converted to base ten would be times ten to the power. Uh, not ten to the power. I think it's four to the power. I don't even remember now. Four to the power zero times one. Four to the power one times. Four to the power two times. Four to the power three times. Yeah. So this would be one, two, four, four, eight, zero, 
4 to the power 3 64 16 64 times 3 180 192 you add these numbers 198 so my understanding right now is that this digit in the base 4 system could be written like this yeah so this this number with the digits 3 0 1 2 in the base 4 system would equal 198 in the base 10 system which is uh, beautiful yeah because in and its glory yeah the base 10 system is uh, understood as standard but you could have base 2s base 3s base 4s like base 2s is the binary bits that are the zeros and ones that your screen is radiating and then you have the hexadecimals hexadecimals where instead of 10 digits like in the base 4 you have four possible combination digits in the base 10 system you have 10 in hexadecimals you have 16 16 digits which would be 0 to 1 to 9 etc 1 2 3 4 9 and then you have the a b c d e hexadecimal is 16 so 10 11 12 13 14 15 and f yeah 16 where a represents 11 b 12 and so on until 15 because you have the zero so hexadecimals gets me thinking about blockchain and uh, some cryptic graph of uh, undulation so see this is 3 and this is uh, sin x no say it's sin x is here yeah this is this is sin x yeah so this would be sin x plus 3 because there's a vertical shift where sin x is f of x and f of x plus 3 is sin Excuse me, I just had a heavy dinner. Shifted vertically. Three spaces up. And then if you want, want it to go right, say it's going right two spaces. Yeah. So that would be uh, the X here. The plus three remains as it is. The X here going X minus three. Because you're going to the right and becomes minus transformations of uh, curves with uh, certain shifts but that's that yeah and uh, the curves made me think of ice cream and the area of this would be semicircles pi r square say we have radius of uh, let's just say a yeah they're all a radius a radius a radius a you have pi a square by 2 because you have semicircles you have 1 2 3 4 5 5 of them it's two dimensional yeah think of it as front view and uh, for over simplicity's sake, let's just say this is one big semicircle, <coughs> and uh, actually a polygon. Polygon would be a better way to look at it. One, two, three, four, five. So half. Uh, let's just say for over simplification's sake, uh, ten. It's called a decagon, 10-sided polygon, regular polygon, 
uh, and half of its area. So let's just have some fun with this. So let's just say a ten-sided polygon with uh, side two A because our radius was A, right? So the side would be two A. So the ten three sixty. This would be thirty six degree because three sixty divided by ten thirty six degrees, and uh, this length. We just take it as x, yeah. Take it as x, yeah. We have to find a relationship with A. Probably through cosine rule, yeah. So cosine rule, we have two uh, a square is equal to x square plus x square. A square plus b square is minus minus two ab minus. Can you remember minus? A B cos C, two A B cos C, two A B cos thirty six. Let me double check that. Yeah, not sure. Cosine rule formula. Yeah, minus two AB cos C. It's right here, yeah. You notice it, right here. Okay, anyway, that's that. Always good to double check, yeah. So, getting x in terms of two uh, uh, A. Uh, the reason we're doing this is to get the area of this slice, which is half x square sine thirty six, half AB sine C. So we get x in terms of a through this bit here. So we have 4a square is equal to 2x square minus 2x square cos 36. 2x square cos 36. One minus cos 36. Unfriendly, but there is a relationship, and we find we find x here by getting uh, x square as a subject. X square is equal to four a square from here divided by two minus two cos thirty six. And we plug that in here to sine thirty six. Sine thirty six and half, and that would be the area area of one slice of uh, the ten decagon. You multiply by ten, you get the area of the whole thing. But we don't need the area of the whole thing because our ice cream cone, which we were talking about, we were dealing with this polygon here, right? So it's half that decagon. So multiplied by five, and get the area of this, the area of the cone. She couldn't be bothered anymore, yeah. And one by, was it one by three, pi r square h. Which would actually be x here. X would be this x. So much for not being bothered. <laughs> so this x here would be the radius and the height, whatever you like. I like my ice cream cones medium, small to medium. Yeah, I don't like them too large. Small to medium. Yeah, and when I think of ice cream cone, I think vanilla because my chocolate cannot be in a cone. Ice cream. 
ஐ நீட் சம் ஐஸ்கிரீம் யா ஃப்ரீ ஸ்டைல் மேத் என்ஜாய் இட்